Are you waiting until tomorrow to get serious about your finances? You're wasting time and money. Hi, I'm Kathy Doolin, Business Development Representative with Fort Knox Federal Credit Union. You know how it is. You'll start investing as soon as you get a raise, or you'll pay off your debt after you feel more established in life, or you'll get health insurance when you have children. Basically, you'll get serious about your finances tomorrow. Fact is, when it comes to your money, procrastination can be downright expensive. If you put off starting a savings account until you have more cash, a better job, or whatever your excuse is, you'll waste precious time and money. Consider this. If 25-year-old Jessica starts investing $100 a month for 10 years, then lets the money earn interest, her funds will grow to $174,928 by the time she turns 65, assuming an 8% annual return and compounding interest. If Lisa waits until age 35 to start saving and socks away the same $100 a month for the next 30 years, she'll have only $135,940 by 65. Lisa will have spent three times as much as Jessica, but will end up with nearly $39,000 less. Don't drag your feet and trip up your financial future. Whether it's investing, budgeting, saving, getting out of debt, or getting organized, here are seven tips to help you beat the procrastination habit. Let's get started. First, give up your dreams of perfection. Many procrastinators are also perfectionists, says Michelle Tullier, author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Overcoming Procrastination. You think you have to be perfect, and if you can't be, you don't want to do it. For instance, if you're trying to cut your spending, you might worry about slipping up now and then. So why try? Because trying is still good. Tell yourself you aren't going to let a desire for perfection stand in your way. Second, rethink your approach. Find a method of managing your finances that fits your personal lifestyle. Sometimes success is easier when you look at a problem from a different angle. For example, say you're dragging your feet in setting up a budget. Saving coupons and tracking every dime on an Excel spreadsheet isn't for everyone. Perhaps you'd be better off putting cash into envelopes labeled with spending categories each month. When the money runs out, you're done spending. Or maybe an old-fashioned pencil and notebook are all you need to keep track of where your money's going. Or you might find that an online budgeting program suits you. Remember, there is no one-size-fits-all approach to most money matters. Third, delegate. If you don't have the time or motivation to complete a financial task, hand over the responsibility to someone or something else. For instance, sign up for automatic bill paying with your credit union or financial institution so you don't miss a payment again. Arrange for automatic deposits into your savings or investment accounts as well. You can, of course, delegate tasks to a real person. If you've been handling your family's finances and things are falling through the cracks, hand over part of the responsibility to your spouse. Or if you put off filing your taxes and make costly mistakes at the last minute, find a tax advisor to do it for you. You don't have to do everything yourself. Fourth, take baby steps. Sometimes a task seems so overwhelming that you simply don't know where to start. Say you've got a mountain of debt to overcome. Start by paying off a single credit card with a low balance. That small success will give you the confidence you need to move on to the next, and so on. Fifth, team up. Sharing your goal with friends or family members is a great way to stay motivated because they'll hold you accountable. When you hit a rough patch or lose your motivation to finish your task, you'll have a support system to help you carry on. And you might find that your friends or family have faced the same or similar situations and can offer advice. Sixth, Face your fears. Perhaps you're putting off a certain financial task because you're afraid of failure. Or maybe you don't feel money savvy and are afraid of the unknown. Instead of procrastinating, face your fears. Think of the worst case scenario and then come up with a rational way to deal with it. You'll feel better knowing you have a plan. For example, starting to invest is a scary prospect for many young adults, particularly in the recent market environment. The solution? Get educated and choose investments that spread your risk. Seventh, reward yourself. 
With many financial goals, the monetary reward doesn't come immediately. It takes time to build savings, change bad habits, pay off debt, and more. The trick to staying motivated is to break up your big goal into small, short-term milestones and reward yourself when you reach them. Besides, rewards will make working on your task a whole lot more fun. For more information about this show and other money-saving tips, log on to Fort Knox Federal Credit Union's website at www.fortknoxfcu.org.